Hey guys, it's Rachel and today we're in the van. We're gonna show you how we make granola in our van and it's vegan and gluten-free friendly. So hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, so today we're gonna show you how to make our homemade granola. The great thing about this recipe is you can really use whatever's in your cabinets, but today we're gonna be using walnuts. Um, we're gonna use almonds. We're gonna use some chia seeds. We're going to use some coconut flakes, um, maple syrup, some cinnamon, and some gluten-free rolled oats, and then some pumpkin seeds we got in here. And then the last thing we're going to do is cacao nibs. So let's get going. All right, guys. So what we need to make a granola is pretty simple, but we use our... Um, little food processor. We have this nice little cute Cuisinart one that's perfect for the van life. And then we have an air fryer, which we're gonna use. We don't have an oven in our van, um, but if you guys are at home and wanna make this recipe, you can use your oven and I'll give the um, instructions for that. But first, so we use our little food processor to blend up our raw almonds here. So we're gonna use a half a cup of these and it's just to pull them real quick. Um, so they're not like big pieces of almonds. So we're gonna first pull those up. So let's just... All right, so that's just a little nice little pulse. And we have our bowl over here we're gonna put these into. So just dump those in. And you can see it kind of broke up those almonds in there. Um, and then we're gonna also pulse up our um, walnuts here. So we're gonna do a half a cup of the walnuts. I just like to, you don't have to do this step, but I just like to do it um, so it's not huge pieces in our granola. So we're gonna do a half a cup of our walnuts. And these guys are a little bit quicker. Don't have to pulse them too much. So that's it for the food processor. So we're done with that guy. So really quick little step there. You cannot do that step if you don't want to. Um, next thing we're gonna add is chia seeds here. So we're gonna do a half a cup of our chia seeds. We're going to do our pumpkin seeds, which I already put out half a cup in here. So pumpkin seeds. Next, our rolled oats, and this is gonna be one of our bigger ingredients. So we're gonna do a cup and a half of our rolled oats, and you can use any kind that you want. I use the gluten-free ones, because I'm gluten-free. Um, so let's do a half a cup here. Great. Then we got our coconut flakes. We're gonna do a half a cup of this. Um, so you can use coconut flakes or you can use shredded coconut. Um, coconut really makes it so you can get nice um, solid pieces of the granola. It keeps it all together. So I really like using the coconut in there. So half a cup of that. And then our calico nibs we're gonna add in there. And like I said, any nuts that you guys like or any ingredients or you don't have this you don't have to add that really you can make it however you want but people think it's really hard to make granola it's actually super simple so our calico nibs and then we're gonna add some cinnamon here so like usually like a tablespoon we're not measuring out we're kind of just shaking it in there but give it a little bit nice cinnamon flavor then we have our maple syrup so we're plant-based, we don't use anything from animals, so we don't use honey, but people do make it with honey. Um, but maple syrup's another great option. Basically, we wanna get it all wet, so we're gonna use a fourth cup of maple syrup in here. Again, I'm not measuring it out. And then if you feel like it's the all the ingredients aren't wet, then you're gonna wanna add a little bit more. But all our ingredients are in there. Now let's mix it up. So you 
can see here we have it all mixed up and really the important thing when you're mixing is make sure the whole um granola is all nice and wet from whatever you're using maple syrup or honey and now it's ready to bake in either our air fryer which is what we're using or your oven so if you're using an air fryer like this we're going to put it at um 250 and we're going to put it in for 30 minutes um and every 10 minutes we're going to shake it and make sure it's baking to get everything nice and brown if you're using a regular oven you can put your oven at 225 and put it in for about an hour put it on a baking sheet and spread it out so it gets everything nice and crisp for you and so let's put it into our air fryer now just to get all those nice ingredients out and we have it set at our right time and it's time to start baking it. So kind of just shake it all around, put it in, and we're gonna set it for the 30 minutes. And again, every like 10 minutes, five minutes, just shake it, put a nice little spoon in there and get it all nice and crisp. So now it's time to wait for our granola to be done. been baking for 30 minutes we've been um, shaking it every 10 minutes now it's time to let it cool so we're gonna just dump it into a bowl to let it cool if you're baking the oven is on a pan you can just leave it on the pan and just pull it out um, or if you have a pan and you are doing an air fryer you can do that and this also is a time to add in any other ingredients that you didn't put in with your baking time so we're adding in some dried cranberries maybe you put in some raisins or um, something else um, and we just are gonna mix that into our granola and then we're gonna let it cool for about like 30 minutes in here and then after we let it cool we'll put it into our nice little granola container we have a little bit from last time still in there and then it will be good to eat and put on smoothies or however you want to eat it. Alright guys, so now our granola is in our little granola jar and it's as easy as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this nutrition video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more on fitness, nutrition, van life, and sustainable living. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.